First of all, I just want to say thank you to uh, the Wake Forest baseball program, to Tommy Walters. Uh, they have been at the forefront uh, of the fight against ALS um, for a while now, and it was it was an honor to meet uh, Susan Moffitt before the game, um, and and for these guys to have their ALS game again here, um, it was, it's just it's special to be a part of. And I know there was a whole bunch of other ones across the country, the SoCon League and NC State and Notre Dame and just to name a few, but um, it's amazing to see this movement and the band together movement uh, continuing to grow and grow, and that's just a tribute to, to Pete and the whole entire Frady's family. Uh, as far as the game today, it really came down to one thing. Uh, you know, we left 12 guys on base, they left six. We had some chances, uh, and every time that we threatened, um, I think we left the bases loaded three times, we have first and second a couple times. Um, they made their pitches, and, and our guys had good at bats in those situations. They just made great pitches, and um, you see why they are they are the 17th back team in the country. And um, but to have Brian Rapp keep that lineup in check, and, and Mets do what he did yesterday. Our guys are throwing the ball great. Donovan was great at the end of the game. Um, just like I said, it comes down to 12 guys left on base, and sometimes you get the hit, and sometimes you don't. And um, I thought it was, a, it was a good baseball game today. Played well by by both sides, and um, and they got the hits when they needed them. Uh, at this point now, we'll head home. Uh, finals this week, and uh, boys will do a great job at their finals and get ready for uh, for Quinnipiac next weekend.